Hey, welcome to Diabet Tech. I'm Justin, and today I'm talking about the Eyelet Insulin Pump from Beta Bionics. It just got FDA clearance, and this pump is revolutionary in the diabetes space. It is a tubed pump. It's meant for people six years and older. This insulin pump does not require you to carb count. All you need to plug in is your weight, and it does the rest. You do have to plug in some things, very simple things when you eat, and I'll get into that, but your doctor doesn't need to give you settings for this thing. It is even more automated than most closed loop systems on the market, or even more advanced than what I use, the DIY loop. Today I'm gonna get into what the device looks like, how it works, all the different settings. I have some awesome footage that I can't wait to show you, and I'm also gonna get into some studies that Beta Bionics ran that get into some more details on how well this is already doing. Oh, and by the way, I'm interviewing the CEO of Beta Bionics next week, so if you have any questions for him, let me know in the comments and I will do my best to ask them. New videos release every Friday on this YouTube channel, as well as my podcast every Monday on all major podcast platforms and here on YouTube, so make sure you subscribe. All right, let's get into this. In December 2019, the Eyelet Insulin Pump received a breakthrough device designation by the FDA. What does this mean? It means it went through the FDA at a much faster rate because it was considered a breakthrough device, a device ahead of its time and the other competition that could change people's lives. Why? Because this insulin pump only requires you to put in your weight and no other settings, no insulin to carb ratio, no insulin sensitivity. A doctor does not need to help you find that information and plug it into the pump. The pump continues to learn all about you, your eating habits, your activity, and gets better and better. Aside from weight, you do need to put in some information when you're eating, and this is very simple. It is not carb counting. So what you'll do is you'll say what meal you're eating, breakfast, lunch, dinner, and I'm guessing snacks. I don't see it on the device manual, but there's gotta be a snacks area, and I'm very curious, I will ask about that. Now, when you choose breakfast, lunch, or dinner, it's going to ask you a few different things. It's going to ask you the carb amount. Is it more usual for me or less than what you typically eat? That is all the information it needs. This is a little bit of an uneasy thing, right? But what I'm gonna talk about later, the studies, is that this system actually works and takes a lot of that time in your day spending carb counting and worrying about if, it, if you are right, it takes that out of the equation and lets you live your life more. Once you plug that in, it will dose right for you. This is a closed loop system. It works alongside the Dexcom G6 to gather all your blood sugar readings every five minutes and then dose accordingly. No word on when this will support the Dexcom G7 or the Libre 2 and 3, which were also cleared by the FDA for closed loop systems, and that's also something I'm going to ask the CEO. Now, let's get into what this thing looks like. Endocrinologist David Ahn was awesome enough to send over a video of him demoing one, so I wanna play that for you. This is what the device looks like. It has an e-ink screen with pretty easy to read graphics. In order to unlock it, there is a tap feature on the outside of the device, as well as a button you need to press on the screen. Here's what the main screen looks like, the blood sugar in the middle, and the circle will animate and swirl when it's giving insulin. Uh, this button right there is how you give boluses, but I never entered my weight. There's also a closed off chamber on the right side. What is this for, you ask? That is for the future of this device. Beta Bionics is working on updating this eventually, once testing goes through an FDA clearance, to a dual hormone pump, a first of its kind. What is that? It means that it would also have glucagon, which makes your blood sugar go higher to prevent lows. People use that if they're in very dangerous situations. They'll either snort it or use a shot. This device will have glucagon in it. That will basically stabilize your insulin and basically allow you to go up and down, which currently insulin will only bring you down. That is a game changer, and I'm very excited to see where that pump goes. There's no timing for that yet, but it is still very exciting. 
Dr. On says that the device is about the thickness of two iPhones and the front side is about the shape of a credit card. To me, it sounds very similar in size to the T-Slim. If you're a T-Slim user, let me know in the comments if that's correct. Now, what about battery life? This thing needs to be charged and it doesn't use external batteries. It gets a four to five day battery life based off of usage and screen brightness. And when it needs to be charged, it is wirelessly charged. It comes with a dock that gets plugged into the wall. There's no information, at least I haven't found any yet, on whether this can be charged on just like a simple wireless charging mat. Very curious to find that out. I'll ask the CEO that. It takes two hours to charge to completion. It still doses for insulin when it's charging, so you can throw it on that dock if you're sitting at your desk and everything will be fine. And yes, this device is water resistant. That's probably why it doesn't have a port directly on it and is wirelessly charged. Now, Beta Bionic is still going to ask people to take it off for swimming and for showers, but it is water resistant for sweat or possibly just like little spills. It does seem like there's an applicator from the user manual. You can also see the little cartridge of insulin that goes in. This kind of reminds me of what goes into the in-pen, this little vial of insulin. And then there is a little screw that goes on top, which connects to the site. It also seems that there is a smartphone app where you can read all the information of the pump. I don't know if you can make decisions from it. That's something I'll ask the CEO. And I'm also wondering if there is a tag along watch app. I'm also wondering what phones this works on. They use an iPhone in their manual, but I'd be curious to see if it works on Android devices. So I'll ask that as well. Now let's get into these studies. They're very interesting findings. In Beta Bionic study, more than 400 people with type 1 diabetes, six years and older, they used the Islet device with a CGM or their existing insulin dosing regimen for several months. Across all age groups and insulin types, in the experimental group that was on the Islet device with the CGM, by the 13 week mark, average blood sugar levels had dropped about 0.5%. Results were comparable to a study that the Omnipod 5 came out with. Now, why is this important? because the Omnipod 5 requires you to carb count. There's more decision making. There's more time taken out of your day to use the Omnipod 5 than there is with this device. So if you're telling me you're gonna get comparable results but have to spend less time outside the fun and outside your life to focus on diabetes, that's a win. That's incredible and this will completely change the game. There's more to it. Users who started the study with especially high glucose readings were particularly helped by the tech. Those with an A1C level over 9% were able to spend about 30% more time or about seven and a half more hours a day in their ideal glucose range. These are some fascinating results and I can't wait to see once people get onto this pump, how it looks and how people's experiences are. So the question is, when can you get it? Well, the CEO said that it is coming imminently. And I've heard that this is within a few weeks. In the month of June, it will go out to some people already. As soon as I get my hands on it, I will let you know, I will do a video on it. And I'm also interviewing the CEO, asking him a ton of burning questions I have. And I also wanna ask you, so be sure to drop those in the comments, please. And perhaps the most exciting thing is where this pump is going. Out of any pump on the market, this is the only one I know of that is currently working on a dual hormone setup. This could be a true bionic pancreas, one that is completely leveling you out using glucagon and insulin to keep you in range and not have highs and lows. Would it be perfect? No. Would it be closer to perfect than other systems on the market today? 100% yes. I've got to say, I'm pretty interested in this device. I'm using Omnipod 5, I use it with DIY Loop, but the idea of not carb counting is extremely enticing and I'm very interested in seeing what this is all about. Now the question is, would you wear this pump? Let me know in the comments. If you're already on a tube pump, would you use this? And if you're on Omnipod, a tubeless pump, would you make the switch to a tube pump? Let me know. I am interviewing the CEO of Beta Bionics next week. If you have questions, throw them in the comments so I can ask them. I am so freaking excited to learn more about this. I'm sure a lot more than I mentioned in this video. I'm still learning. 
So stay tuned for that by subscribing. Give this video a like so other people can find it. I'm Justin, and I'll tech you later.